there will soon be a change at the top of city administration in Guadalupe. KCOY 12's Dave Alley is live at Guadalupe City Hall to tell us who is leaving and how the leaders there are planning to fill the position. Uh, good evening, Scott. Uh, things are happening here in Guadalupe. A lot of it has to do with a huge residential and commercial development called Pasadero that's under construction about a mile from here. While there's a lot of excitement about that around here, city leaders, they're having to deal with a very difficult task of searching for a new city administrator. One of Guadalupe's top leaders is on the move bringing change once again to the city. It's always difficult to transition, especially in your administrative uh, positions. After less than four years as city administrator, Andrew Carter is leaving. The primary reason for my departure has to do with uh, personal issues and quality of life issues. During his tenure, Carter led Guadalupe through a difficult financial period, helping the city steer clear of disincorporating. I found a long-term track record of, of really financial irregularities. That made things a little more complicated. Thanks to new tax measures and a utility rate increase, Guadalupe is on solid ground. With Mr. Carter's departure fast approaching, city council members will meet Tuesday to discuss what options they have to fill the void. In the short term and in interim, we could go in-house or outside. Right now, if we go in-house, it'd be, uh, we have a person who's really qualified. Public Safety Director Gary Hoving has been proposed to fill in temporarily, leaving a long-term decision still to be made. Our pay scales tend to be the lowest in the area, and that's simply because we don't have the funds, so that uh, increases your challenge of finding someone. Mayor John Lizalde believes whoever replaces Carter will lead a city that's heading in the right direction. No, it's, it's really positive. The citizens are, are, are seeing that, that there's positive movement. The perception is positive. Now, Carter is leaving for Hanford, where he hopes to find another position in the public sector. Now, his departure uh, is a bit flexible, but it is coming on uh, here in the near future, somewhere between July 1st and the end of August. And he believes that uh, the search for his successor should last somewhere between one to three months. Reporting live in Guadalupe, Dave Valley, KCOY 12, Central Coast News. Dave, thanks very much.